program, but today we're shifting gears a little bit and talking hive to spoon. Ashley joins us from the Sacramento Beekeepers learning how to extract honey from old hives. Hi. Hi, good morning, you guys. Yes, you just said it. You know, yesterday we were talking farm to fork. Today we we're talking hive to spoon. This is so excited. Blake is no stranger to Good Day Sacramento. He is the Sacramento beekeeper. Um, Blake, how's it going? It's going very well. Yeah, so first and foremost, this is a great visual that's happening. Walk us through this. Tell our viewers what we're seeing. This is a culmination of the bees' hard work. This is their capped honey that they have stored in their hive. And the bees have done well enough that we were able to take a surplus and harvest it and enjoy it ourselves. That's so great. So you might be thinking, okay, so why are we here? We are here because Blake, you guys, he has spent the last two years working very, very hard. And after two years, he finally gets to put all this honey into jars. Now, we were here back in April. Bethany Crouch came out and hung out with you in April. And you guys were talking about um, basically the health of the bees, right? You got it. We went out to make sure the bees were healthy, had enough food, and that they were free of pests and diseases. All right, so then now we're at the process. Finally, we get to have some honey, and we get to put it into jars. So we had this process down. You just took the wax and scraped it off. Yep, now we have the exposed honey ready to be spun out. All right. And we're ready to jar it up. Let's do it. Let's, so we're going to walk outside, and as we're walking, you have to walk very carefully because we don't want to spill. Oh, careful, safe. <laughs> safe just ran into the wall. We don't want to spill honey all over your beautiful hardwood floors. Now, um, Blake, tell me, um, talk, oops, talk to me a little bit, a bit about this device that you're putting this into. So the the honey frames are going to go in and this device is going to start spinning and the spinning force is going to cause the honey to eject out of the side of the hive with centrifugal force. All right. It'll hit the side, strip down to the bottom, and then it comes right off the front and we'll be ready to jar it. <laughs> so great. Okay, let's see this happen. So you're going to close that up. I'll now, leave Tina, oh, you leave it open. Perfect. Now, Tina, I know this is up your alley. Have you gotten to this process yet? Yes. Yes. You have. Okay, cool. So this is really great. So with, how, how many jars honey? of honey are you going to get out of this? Each frame is probably going to hold about six to seven pounds, so probably about six jars per frame. Wow, that's so cool. Now, it's so funny. He has, you have some family members here, and they're going, this is, it's so great to get a lifetime supply of honey. But what's so awesome is you're getting an opportunity now to sell to different companies and breweries. You have some people inquiring about your honey to put in their beer. Absolutely. A lot of local breweries like to use local honey, and it really affects the taste and uh, gives a nice note to the beer. Yeah. And it's also a way to support local communities. Like, keeping it local, keeping it local. Uh-oh. So that closes off. But what's, what we're going to see here in a few minutes, right, we're going to have it coming out of the bottom, correct? Yep. And if you look inside for the top, see it hitting the sidewall? Yes. Oh, yeah. So right now the honey's hitting the sidewall, and it will accumulate, and now it's starting to drip down to the bottom. And I already see about an inch at the bottom down there. Wow. So, I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. You're super knowledgeable. What would you say um, is the future for beekeepers across America? Uh, the future, I think, is going to be with the young people. A lot of the older generation is involved in a lot of the commercial beekeeping, and there's a little bit of a disconnect between our food supply, and I think that um, agriculture relies really heavily on that. And I think young people is key to keep this going and Absolutely. moving forward. Yeah, um, and again, I want to say this also. So Safe, our photographer, he was out here when Bethany was here, and you gave him some honey. Yes. He told me that his allergies have completely gone away just from taking a teaspoon of, hu teaspoon of honey every single morning. It's a local antihistamine, basically, yeah. for you. So awesome. It's Blake, you th thank you so much. My producer just says that is true. Thank you. Thank you, Maloney. Blake, thank you so much. My All right, we're going to post some pictures on Instagram a little bit later. And, of course, we could, um, we'll let you know how you can get in contact with Blake if you ever want to get some honey. But this is a two-year process, you guys. Again, Tina, I know you know what this is like, but it's so great for the uh, viewers to see the entire process. When you go to the grocery store, this is exactly what happens prior to picking it up on the shelves. All right, we're going to go ahead and toss it back over to you. Now, listen. Hold on. I got a question, Ash. Got a question. Ask him yes. how many swarms okay. did they catch this season? How many swarms? How many swarms did you catch this season? We successfully caught about 25 swarms. Okay. Now, I'm not well versed in the bee topic. Is that a lot to you? Like, how many oh, swarms did you lot. catch? Let that's me tell you what a, a swarm is. A swarm is oh, okay. when the bees have to go to a new place, and then they're all ooh, buzzing around, but they're not going to sting you because they're really oh. hungry. Right? Because they're looking for their new place and they're protecting their queen. Whoa! I know, you taught me. <laughs> also, just so you know, I'm trying to get Tina to take me on vacation, so you should buy honey at Cordy Brothers, specifically stop, stop. her honey. Stop. <laughs> it's there, it sells stop, out. Stop. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ashley. We'll check in and see what's How many swarms did you get? One. Oh, really? Well, actually, somebody else can help catch like three. Yeah. Total. Scary. That's a lot. After the break, it's our music minute.